Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to quickly cook cream of mushroom with red tail perch. Alright, so let's go over what we need. You're going to need um, your favorite red wine. Mine's happen to be yellowtail, a cabernet, and heavy whipping cream, and lemon pepper, seasoned salt, garlic, red onions, um, salt, and mushrooms, any mushroom you want, and about one tablespoon of butter, salted, and your perch fillet. And you will also need olive oil. All right, let's marinate our perch with the lemon and pepper. It's going to do it lightly. It has salt on it already, so be aware of that. Again, for this step, you can use any seasoning you want, um, even soy sauce. Okay, I got my pan warming up here on medium heat and I got about three tablespoons of olive oil in the pan right now. So we're going to let that heat up a little bit. Alright, our, our pan is pretty hot. Okay, it looks like our pan is pretty hot now so we're going to put in the fillets. Okay, there's our perch cooking right now. Um, I go about three minutes per side. If you like it well done, you can go four minutes. Probably no more than that because fish doesn't take long at all. Okay, after three minutes, I'm going to flip these guys over. When you guys are flipping the fillets, just be real gentle, okay? Because uh, these fillets are, are very brittle. Um, they fall apart very easily. So you don't want to use... Um, you don't want to go too fast. Just use a wooden spoon. Alright, once it's cooked like that, I actually flipped it over, that's why it's kind of golden brown. You want to turn off your heat, and then you want to transfer all, transfer it to a plate. And right away you want to put in your onion. You don't want to put in the garlic yet because garlic burns really fast. So I put in the onion first and saute that, make it translucent. Alright, I'm going to pour out about one cup of cream. Right there. Okay, I got the onions cooking for about three minutes now. Probably no more than that. Then I'm going to toss in the garlic. This is actually very little garlic. I usually use about a quarter cup of garlic, but I didn't have any, so. All right, I got the garlic in, and right away, I'm gonna toss in the mushrooms. These are pre-cut already, and they're kind of big, but you can use any mushroom you want. And the mushroom, they're kind of big, but they're gonna shrink you know, to less than half the size. Alright, the mushroom is in. Now I'm going to add the heavy cream. The heavy whipping cream. Alright, there's the cream is in. I'm going to add a little bit more mushroom. I love mushroom and you can add as much garlic as you want um, like I said I didn't have enough garlic but usually I add a lot of garlic because I just love garlic I think that's, that's that's the reason why I smell so bad all right I got everything in there um, now I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of salt on top of that 
if you want um, salty, if you if you prefer things a little bit salty, just add you know according to taste. So I really can't say how much to add because we all have different tastes. So a little bit more. All right, we're gonna let this simmer. Okay, the sauce has been cooking for about three minutes now. I'm gonna pour in a little bit of wine. Um, you can use any wine you want. I poured in some already earlier, so I'm just gonna pour in a little bit more. Um, this is a uh, red tail. I'm sorry, not red tail. It is yellow tail. Um, it's a cab <coughs> Cabernet. You can use any red wine that you like. I just prefer yellow tail because it's 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 a sweeter wine. Alright, there is the sauce cooking and boy it smells really good right now. At this point you can add more salt if you want. Um, just you know use a tasting spoon, you know, test it out. If it's not not salty enough for you, just add more salt. And at this point I'm just gonna let it reduce probably by about half. Um, the heat is on it's on medium heat. All right, guys, probably about 12 minutes. Um, it's reduced to about half. So that's looking good right there. And it uh, smells really good. I just tasted it. And I have about the right amount of salt. So I'm going to get the fish out of the oven. And remember that uh, plate is pretty hot. So just be really careful. And then you are going to turn off the heat. And with that, you can just, this is already looking really good. You just want to drizzle it all over the fish, okay? You can add pasta if you want. That's also really nice. I didn't do a side dish. Um, for the side dish, you can, you can do whatever you want, like corn, uh, steamed broccoli, um whatever you want it's it's pretty open you have a lot of options for side dish and i i just smother all over the fish okay you can put it to the side if you want if you care about presentation but i don't really care i just want to dive right in and eat eat it Go right all over that. All right. All right, so there is your uh, cream of mushroom with um, red tail perch. And that looks really good. Now remember, the most important thing about cooking this recipe is your angry orchard. All right, that's so important. Don't forget your angry orchard. And there it is, guys. I hope you like it. Cheers. Tight lines.